Hi, I'm Emily Dale, multi-year Johansson Viking TV news anchor and part of the Data Pathway. Consider this, you, being able to create the movies you see on the big screen or program video games like the ones you've played. Classes that teach you the skills to create a professional video or video game is something that is being offered right now at Johansson in our Data Pathway. You may be wondering what data is. Data stands for Digital Arts and Technology Advancement. The pathway prepares students with skills for a career in numerous industries, including the motion picture industry, the television production industry, the video game industry, and numerous other digital media industries. The pathway also helps prepare students for careers in computer science, computer information systems, animation, illustration, graphics design, special effects, advertising, publishing, architecture, engineering, project management, and more. Our students are able to apply what they learn on cross-curricular projects in their core classes, meaning our students can create digital presentation to help them in their English or history classes. This prepares them for 21st century careers and post-secondary studies. We have the most comprehensive high school technology learning program in the area, meaning no other school in the area has a pathway equivalent to ours. Students learn to use cutting-edge industry standard software and prepare for the high-tech careers of tomorrow. Students can select one of two tracks in the pathway. All students in the pathway will have the same freshman elective class, but different sophomore, junior, and senior elective classes based on the track they choose. The two paths we have are digital media broadcasting and media arts and game arts. In the digital media broadcasting track, students work with their peers to learn every aspect of professional video production by using our Pathways great computer programs and equipment to learn how to make high quality videos by creating commercials, music videos, and short films as assignments. Using this industry standard software and equipment, students acquire and hone the skills and techniques necessary to create and produce a variety of professional video productions. If you don't believe us, you can see on our school website, we have students putting the live broadcast up every week. In the digital media arts and game arts track, students learn the art of video game design. Video game design becomes students' driving force as they learn cutting edge technology skills in computer programming, architecture, and design, computer graphics, animation, and much more, all in an applied hands-on format. Students take courses like 3D graphics and animation, video game design, computer programming, and advanced video game design. By senior year, students are working with their peers to develop a full game. Students have two paths of study they can pursue. Digital Media Broadcasting, which is a series of media courses with an emphasis on video production and digital media arts and game arts, which is a series of digital arts, design, and programming courses with the history of high quality projects made throughout the student's high school career. They are able to have a portfolio to show so they can continue into a career after high school. These are careers that will always be available. Movies, TV shows, and video games will be in high demand and still will be in the future, meaning these jobs will be needed for many years to come and our students won't be left without a career. Technology is woven into the fabric of study throughout the student's high school experience. So if you've ever watched a TV show, movie, or played a video game and thought to yourself, I wish I could do that, well, now you can with data. If you're already a Johansson student, be sure to select data on your ballot. If you're not already a Johansson student, we'd love to have you come to our school and become a part of the pathway.